China has just revealed stunning new footage of its next-generation stealth fighter, an aircraft many believe is already years ahead of America's F-47 program. With a radical tailless design, advanced stealth shaping, and cutting-edge engine technology, this jet could redefine the future of air dominance. In this video, we'll uncover what makes it special, why it matters, and what it tells us about aviation's next chapter. When the first detailed footage of China's new stealth fighter surfaced, analysts immediately noticed it was unlike anything currently in service. The most striking element is its tailless configuration. Unlike the J-20 or the US F-35, this aircraft eliminates vertical stabilizers entirely. That matters because tails are one of the biggest radar reflectors on conventional fighters. By removing them, engineers have drastically reduced the aircraft's radar cross-section, making it far harder for tracking systems to detect. But losing tails also means losing stability. So how do they compensate? The answer appears to lie in its swiveling wingtips, which add fine-tuned directional control without compromising stealth. Next, the jet's air intakes grabbed attention. They're trapezoidal and use a diverterless supersonic inlet, DSI, design. DSIs are not only stealthier, because they avoid sharp mechanical splitters that reflect radar, but they're also lighter and simpler to maintain. This approach builds on experience from the J-20 and shows how China is optimizing aerodynamics for efficiency and stealth simultaneously. The engines are another mystery. Images reveal thrust vectoring nozzles with serrated edges to scatter radar waves. The big question, are these powered by a derivative of the WS-15 engine, the same power plant that gives advanced J-20 variants their supercruise capability, or are they brand new? The WS-15 is already one of the most powerful fighter engines in production, with a thrust-to-weight ratio comparable to the American F-35's F-135 engine. If China has managed to evolve it further or design a clean sheet engine, it could give this aircraft unmatched endurance and thrust. Then there's the nose and canopy. The nose is unusually long and diamond-shaped, likely housing an oversized radar. This suggests China is prioritizing detection range and sensor power, a key sixth-generation characteristic. The canopy blends smoothly into the fuselage, reducing reflections and making it look like a single continuous surface. What makes this story even more fascinating is that this jet wasn't unveiled alone. On December 26, 2024, China revealed two separate sixth-generation fighter prototypes, each with a distinct role. This is part of a deliberate high, low strategy, where one aircraft is optimized for local air superiority and agility, while the other is larger, longer-ranged, and designed for missions deep into remote airspace. The fighter we've been examining, the tailless, J-20-sized prototype fills the air dominance role. Its size is roughly equivalent to the J-20, meaning it's far larger than the US F-35. That extra volume matters. It allows more internal fuel for extended range, space for larger radars, and room for carrying multiple weapons without breaking stealth. Analysts believe this fighter will lead operations in contested zones, where agility, stealth, and superior radar range are decisive. The second prototype, unveiled on the same day, is reported to be significantly larger and heavier. While details remain scarce, early images suggest it may serve as a long-range strike platform, complementing the smaller fighter by reaching remote targets across the Pacific. This two-pronged approach mirrors China's broader strategy of building layered systems that work together rather than one-size-fits-all designs. There's also speculation about manned, unmanned teaming. With China's rapid advances in autonomous drones, both of these new fighters may serve as command hubs for loyal wingman drones, unmanned aircraft that extend radar coverage, carry weapons, or jam enemy sensors. This would transform them from individual jets into networked force multipliers. The strategic benefit of this dual system is flexibility. The smaller stealth fighter handles air dominance closer to China's sphere of operations, while the larger partner can project power across distant areas. Together, they create a balanced combination of agility, reach, and versatility. No other country has publicly revealed such a coordinated sixth-generation plan.
The most eye-catching part of this development isn't just what these fighters look like, it's how quickly they might be entering service. China has built a reputation for rapid defense projects. The J-20 is the best example. First seen as a prototype in 2011, it entered frontline service by 2017. Compared to the decades-long timelines for Western projects, that's remarkably fast. If China applies a similar pace here, these sixth-generation jets could be operational in the early 2030s. Meanwhile, the United States is facing delays. The U.S. Air Force's F-47 program, the next-generation air dominance, NGAD, fighter, has its first flight penciled in for 2028. That already puts it four years behind China's prototypes. And even after its first flight, American programs typically take a decade or more before full deployment. The U.S. Navy's own sixth-generation project, the F-AXX, has struggled with funding and shifting requirements, slowing progress even further. If China's jets truly enter service years earlier, it creates a rare reversal. For decades, the U.S. led in fielding cutting-edge combat aircraft first. Now, for the first time, China could hold that lead. That matters because whoever fields sixth-generation fighters first sets the new standard for air operations, stealthier designs, better sensors, manned, unmanned integration, and digital warfare dominance. This has implications not only for the U.S., but also for allies that rely heavily on the F-35. Many partner nations are only just beginning to receive their fifth-generation fleets, and yet China's new designs already threaten to make those aircraft look dated by the next decade. This raises big questions about how long the F-35 program will remain relevant if a rival sixth-generation jet appears in service first. Of course, there are hurdles. Developing engines that can handle high thrust while staying stealthy, integrating advanced sensors, and ensuring reliable unmanned teaming are all massive engineering challenges. But the fact that China has already begun intensive flight testing, rather than just computer models or mock-ups, suggests a high degree of confidence. In the broader picture, the unveiling signals a new chapter in aerospace competition, one where China's speed and willingness to test bold designs could push others to accelerate or risk falling behind. China's sixth-generation fighter is more than just a prototype, it's a message. From its tailless stealth design and powerful sensors to its role in a dual-high, low strategy, this aircraft points to a future where air dominance is defined by speed of innovation, not just legacy programs. With flight testing already underway, the timeline could give China a head start into the 2030s, raising big questions about the future of the F-35 and the US F-47. The real takeaway is this. We're watching a turning point in aerospace history unfold in real time. Will the world adapt to this new era quickly enough, or are we already witnessing the next leap beyond fifth-generation technology? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.